Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Erica and I want to welcome you and thank you for being here today. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, please make sure that you comment below so that I can personally welcome you here. I do all sorts of unboxings, um, whether it's fashion or lifestyle boxes, decorating boxes, makeup, skincare, um, <clears throat> all sorts of boxes. So um, hopefully you'll subscribe below and like this video. I really appreciate it. So today I have two unboxings for you. Um, the first one I have is from Bella Box, and they are a candle subscription company. So the box comes like this. And they are, it's a monthly artesian, I have some notes here, monthly artesian candle subscription that highlights small batch natural candle makers from across the U.S. These candles are soy, coconut, or vegetable wax, cotton braided wicks, premium fragrance, and essential oils. They have three tiers. They have a $10 tier, which is what I have here, um, that includes a four ounce candle and a surprise gift. They have a $20 box that tier that has an eight ounce candle and a surprise gift. In both the $10 and the $20 tier, um, shipping is $3 on those. They also have a $30 tier where you receive a four ounce and an eight ounce candle a surprise gift and those ship for free so let's get into this so like I said it looks like this cute little box um, and when you open it I, I split it already because it's just easier that way it looks like this on the inside so it says the right kind of busy and we get a card of what's inside and featured favorites so Janet Gwen Designs, this Asian female owned business aims to elevate your everyday essential, combining aesthetics without sacrificing purpose. Janet Gwen Designs curates each scent to carry you through your day. From morning to night, for relaxing to vacay vibes, these candles are designed with a vibe in mind. Not only do they have mood inspired candles, but they also craft products like silicone keyboard covers, marble wrapped MacBook covers, and even propagation stations for your house plants. Every Janet Gwen product is made to motivate and she's located in Charlotte, North Carolina and it has their website and a coupon code for $10 off if you use Velabox. Um, so the candle, so let's open it up. So yeah, let's, so this is how the candle comes in this cute little pouch, which is adorable. And it looks like this. So it says Mojave Dreams. It's in um, a, like a cursive font, so it's a little hard to... Oh, that smells really nice. So let's see what it says about it here. Mojave Dream. So all subscribers get this. Um, it's agave, rose, and peach. Instantly transport yourself to a desert getaway with a musky aloe peach and rose of this candle. All you need is a Palm Springs mindset. If anyone asks, you're out of office. Freshen your surroundings with hints of succulent agave blended with rose, peach, and rounded out with a musky base. A cool green musky aloe type. Dreaming that Mojave dream yet? Yep, I can actually, I can smell the, um, the rose in the peach. It smells really nice. It smells really clean. It's so cute too. And this is like the perfect size. Um, what did I say? It was four ounces. It's really cute. It's really a nice size. I like that for a bedroom or a bathroom. Um, it will be perfect. And then you have the cover for it. So that's cute. That's cute. And then we have, um, we have a welcome to Vela box which um, gives a little bit about what I just said about the, about the company, 100% natural wax, wax, cotton wick, um, paraben free, no artificial dyes, vegan, cruelty free. And then it says how to burn a candle like a pro. I didn't know that there were instructions on how to burn a candle. So we have our instructions here for that. Um, light for two and a half to three hours the first burn. Um, and then trim your wick, keep burn time under four hours, extinguish the flame with a sniffer, a snuffer. Yep, I didn't know that. And then 
it looks like my bonus gift is deodorant cream. Cucumber made with organic ingredients from Little Seed Farm. I've never heard of deodorant cream. So what does it say? Mini deodorant cream by Little Seed Farm. Coco the shop curates Little Seed Farm's most natural deodorant that is made with consideration of both animals and humans. The deodorant cream is handmade by a small family-owned business working on their solar-powered farm in Lebanon, Tennessee. These aluminum and baking-free goods, baking soda-free goods, reflect the farm's dedication to creating safe and nourishing skin care. Wow, that's so cool. Contents will melt to over 78 degrees. To use, gently rub a pea-sized amount into clean armpits with your fingertips. No animal testing, made in the U.S. in small batches on our solar-powered farm. Wow, I'm really, I can't wait to try this. That's so cute. I wonder how this will work. I'll have to come back and put a note because I've never used deodorant cream before. So, so that was my uh, Vela box. So um, the candle, and this was $10. So I got the candle um, and the deodorant, deodorant cream um, for $10 and then $3 shipping on that. So that was the first box. Let me just put this back in its little pouch here. And the second box I have today is um, the Book of the Month Club. So it comes in a box like this, Book of the Month. Well, Book of the Month Club. And um, the, each month they feature five books, and you decide which book that you want to read for that month. It's free shipping. Membership is between $12.50 and $16.67, depending on your plan. So you can do, I think you can do monthly, or you can do six months, 12 months. And as you obviously um, subscribe longer, the price of the membership goes down monthly. Um, and I'll add my link below so that you can get your first month for $5. So um, it comes in a box like this. I already slid it like I did with the last one. Um, and it says, you've got great taste. Book of the month. So Book of the month established in 1926 only five featuring just five books every month means you can hold our books to a super high standard and you have a perfect curated list to choose from um, no algorithms we're keeping it 100 at nearly 100 um, so this just gives a history of um, the book of the month club you'll like our books we promise we believe in books we're proud of our mission to help readers discover new books they'll love and to support emerging authors. And we couldn't do it without you or our 149,999 other members. So thanks. So that's pretty cool. And then it looks like they send over a bookmark. And then um, they have an app. So our app is where it's at, which I did not know. So the first, this is my first one. I've not done this before. So the first book I got was Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapina. So that's the book I got. And I'm going to read you just the inside jacket of the book. Um, it's a hardcover, and it's actually a book. I don't know about you, but I love the smell of books. Um, and I would much prefer reading a book. In, in a book format than reading a book in an electronic format. I've done it, I do it, um, but I don't like to do it. I like to be able to like open the book, start at chapter 29, look, see, okay, how many pages are in 20, this is what I do, how many pages are in 29, in chapter 29, oh, okay, I think I could do a couple more chapters, so maybe I'll go to chapter 35 or something like that, and that's where I'll put my bookmark, and then that's where I'll read to, and then, of course, I'm still interested in the book and, and something's going on. So then I have to read, of course, a couple more chapters. And then I end up staying up all night reading. So that's what I typically do. And that's why I like having a book, a hard, or either a paperback or a hard copy book, because then I know what I'm reading, how far along I am, how much longer I have to go, that kind of stuff. 
So this, this book right here, it says, in this family, everyone is keeping secrets, even the dead. So Brecken Hill in upstate New York is an expensive place to live. You have to be rich to have a house there, and Fred and Sheila Merton certainly are rich. But even all their money can't protect them when a killer comes to call. The Mertons are, bu are brutally murdered the night after an Easter dinner with their three adult kids, who of course are devastated. Or are they? They each stand to inherit millions. They were never a happy family, thanks to their vindictive father and neglectful mother. But perhaps one of the siblings is more disturbed than anyone knew. Did someone snap after that dreadful evening? Or did another person appear later that night with the worst of intentions? That must be what happened. After all, if one of your family were capable of something as gruesome as this, wouldn't you would know? Wouldn't you? So I am so excited to dive into this book, and I'm probably going to start it tonight. Um, I can't wait. So I love to read and have read um, on and off my entire life. You know, I think I go through spurts where I start to read a lot, and then life gets in the way, or you get busy, and then you stop. But I really enjoy reading, so I'm so excited about this. I found this book of the month club. So I hope that you liked this video and you'll give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well. I don't know which side it's on, but I hope that you'll subscribe as well and make sure that you hit the, the bell so that you'll be reminded or notified when I post another video. So have a great day and I will see you soon.